All right, what's up, guys? In today's video, we're taking the Groza and the FFR, the two guns that were nerfed and were going to be the meta in the new season. The FFR got nerfed pretty hard into the ground, and in exchange for the FFR getting nerfed, they said that Groza was going to be next and was going to be the top tier meta. So they nerfed that with it by nerfing the top two weapons and the AUG, the M16, and the Psykov. The meta four weapons, which are going to be the four weapons, completely are going to be changed. Now, all the meta weapons are going to be pretty much viable. The Kilo, Grau, M4, M13, whatever gun you wanted to use in the original before Cold War, those guns will be viable in the current meta. So what I'm going to showcase is the current data versus uh, the pre-patch data of the gun before it got nerfed to show you how hard they actually nerfed the FFAR. It's definitely pretty well balanced. It's basically the M13 now. So on the screen, I will showcase what they actually nerfed of the weapon. Uh, they nerfed the overall damage and they nerfed the multipliers. What that does is it takes away the chest shots, damage being higher, makes the damage 27 across the board, which is almost identical to that of the Modern Warfare weapons, which is 28. It does have an extremely fast fire rate. Then they also nerfed the base range from 36 meters down to 31 which makes it also now pretty much tied with the Kilo and the Grau as far as the base range. So it's basically dropped from being top tier to now being average. They lowered the overall ADS. They did buff a bunch of the speed max and those kind of things, which I did not test because I don't have time because the map is not out yet. But definitely the FAR is nerfed in the ground, which will showcase the stats in a second. But what I want to take a look at next is the Groza. So the Groza wasn't the most accurate weapon. But by increasing the recoil, it's going to make it still not as accurate. Lowered the, the uh, ADS and then lowered the upper torso damage. What made the Groza excellent is it could get a 7-shot kill because the upper torso damage was really, really high. Now they lowered that to lower the overall time to kill by a lot. You guys will see on the screen now, I'll showcase the overall data of the two weapons as far as pre-patch and post-patch. You guys can see with the FFAR. You could get an eight shot kill to the chest. I believe four chest shots and four stomach would still maintain a time to kill. And that's what made the FFR so dominant. The Amax and the Groza require 100% chest shots in order to maintain that low time to kill. Obviously with the FFR, you could get 50% chest shots and still maintain it. So now it's basically the M13. Your damage is now went from 33, 30, 45 to the head to 27, 27, 40 to the head. Your base range is from 36 meters to 31. Your shots are going from 8 to 10. So it takes two extra shots to kill, which means those class setups where you're rocking the no muzzle, the no grip, definitely need a grip now because you're going to have to hit two more shots, which you need the best accuracy. As you guys can see, I'll showcase a little chart on the screen, the previous range of the, the time to kill versus the new. 600 milliseconds is perfectly average. The M13, I believe, is 606. Let me confirm the data real quick. Yeah, M13 is 606, M4 is 593. So you take those and average them all out, the average is 600. So it's perfectly average in between the fast firing weapons. So the M13 is fast firing, M4 is second fastest besides the RAM. The FFR is perfectly average between those two guns, which is where the meta of the far reign is officially over. The next one to take a look at is going to be the Groza. So pre-patch, you get a seven shot chest shot which you have to have 100% chest shots with 36 damage to the chest, 28 to the stomach and limbs, and your headshot multiplier was 45. So your time to kill was basically 10 milliseconds lower than the far at 477, but seven shots to kill. Post-patch, they lowered the multiplier from 36 down to 30, which now requires nine shots to kill, so two shots to kill slower and increase the recoil. So your accuracy to hit those shots is definitely going to go down so I think this weapon's nerfed even into the ground worse than the far. Definitely won't be usable. You guys can see the time to kill went from 477, which was fast, very fast, to 636, which is now 100% average. So if you take the Groza TTK, the Kilo is 639, the Craig is 644, and the Grau is 657. So it's now in line with those slow firing ARs. It is the fastest, but by 3 milliseconds. So it's based identical time to kill as the Kilo up to its base range so the groza was nerfed completely into the ground in my opinion at this point you're better off using the kilo so that is basically it but i did want to showcase what i thought was the best class setup for each gun obviously with the groza you want the grew composite to give you the best bullet velocity range and agency suppressor grew suppressor to give you the best bullet velocity and range obviously your recoil is not the best this gun went from being a close range weapon so you want to completely remove that kgb pad probably be running it two times or a red dot 
so, or an Axial three times, I know it's a long range meta. Uh, this gun was nerfed pretty hard. Definitely wasn't in the meta before, but was going to take the rise of the FAR got nerfed. But now they nerfed it so hard that it's completely out of the meta. This is a gun I would never even touch, put my hands on. Obviously with the FFR, if you still are trying to run the best class setup, this was pre-nerf. Everyone said, well, screw it. I'm not going to use the muzzle. The range got nerfed, so you definitely need to bring that range back with the agency suppressor and the bolt velocity needs to come back because it's going to be more of a mid-range weapon, not the close range. The Raider stock, definitely pretty good because this was good for the close range. But if you're running now a mid-range weapon similar to the M13, the task force you still want to use because it's the only barrel that might give you the bullet velocity, but the Ranger is going to help you improve your bullet velocity while not improving your range. So I definitely think the barrel is going to change to the Ranger. Obviously still field agent, 50 round mag. The one difference here, you might run the speed tape or the drop shot wrap to get the faster ADS if that's what you're looking for. I still think the iron sights are excellent, but if it was me, this is probably what the new meta far class up is for me personally because the bolt velocity is going to be a lot better than it was previously while also not getting the loss in the recoil. So it's going to help you at range. That's the best class ever for the FAR and the Groza. This video did help you guys out. Please make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. With the new season, I plan on uploading as much content and grinding it out as much as I can. So if you guys are new, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button to see all the videos I upload. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. See ya.